welcome for joining. My name is Bill Spencer, uh, Senior Director on Teams Engineering, and I'm pleased today to be joined by Hai Nguyen, who is a co-founder of AppFluence, and he'll be presenting the integration of Priority Matrix into Microsoft Teams. Take it away, Hai. Thank you, Bill. Hello, everyone. As Bill said, my name is Hai. I'm co-founder of AppFluence. Uh, very, very excited to present to you Party Matrix for Microsoft Teams and Outlook. The agenda is pretty straightforward. I do want to walk through some of the ways that Party Matrix is different, how it can add value to your organization. Uh, and then we'll also try to do a live demo as well. Uh, we have a couple of people fielding questions, so feel free to ask questions. Uh, but then also I put my contact information here, hi at affluence.com. Please feel free to reach out to me at any point in time if there's any additional follow up. So. Prioritization is hard. Party Matrix makes it easy. At the end of the day, Party Matrix is a software that helps you manage priorities. We used to exist in, outside of the Teams ecosystem, but what we discovered is that actually our customers were spending more and more time inside Teams, inside Office. So what we've done is actually bring the whole experience into the Microsoft Teams ecosystem. So Party Matrix allows you to manage emails, meetings, as well as get real-time status updates of projects and priorities all within the Teams app with minimal context switching. So what makes Party Matrix different? Um, as you can see, the name Party Matrix, actually the core of our uh, methodology is that we use the four quadrant method as a way to help you make more effective prioritization. So what that means is that instead of just a simple project management app or a task management app, at the core of our solution is helping you understand what are my priorities, what should I be working on, and then how are my priorities aligned with the rest of my team or my organization. Not only that, we also let you delegate, prioritize, and manage emails. So we're bringing together that project side, but then also the task and email side. And then at the same time, saving you time and effort using templates, all of which are accessible inside Teams and then deployable and shareable across your organization. So why is Party Matrix better in Teams? Uh, why is it that we are so focused on the Teams ecosystem? Uh, first of all, the Party Matrix is M Microsoft 365 security certified for Teams, Outlook, and the web app. So um, we're one, if not the only application that is certified across all three. Second of all, we're available as a standard SaaS solution, which means you can get it today, but also you can get our Azure GovCloud, our HIPAA uh, compliant solution, as well as private Azure deployments for enterprise customers that have high security needs or really want to manage exactly the geography of where their deployments are located. All our solutions comes with Teams, Web App, Outlook, as well as Power Apps connectors. And because we leverage Teams, we're actually able to use so many features inside the Teams app in order to make you more effective and efficient. Uh, so we're probably one of the most integrated solutions in terms of Teams, whatever features that Teams come out, we try to leverage it as a way to make your experience better. So I'll be showing you later the one-on-one -on -one view uh, where you can have a seamless work experience uh, collaboration experience with your manager or your direct reports, something that's extremely unique uh, within Party Matrix. And then not only that, we also integrate with Teams meetings. So when you're in a uh, Microsoft Teams meeting, you can actually pull up your Party Matrix as an agenda, and we automatically create the task uh, in order for you to uh, see what are the things that's relevant to the people involved within the meetings. And then not only that, we actually drive team usage with our chat bot, our messaging extensions, tabs, uh, graph and power apps. Obviously, I won't be able to show all of these capabilities today, but this is a way for you just to see what are some of the things that um, we can do and, and exclusively inside Teams. So why do organizations use Party Matrix? First of all, Party Matrix is extremely easy to get started. So you can use it as an in for personal responsibility as a, pers a team of one, uh, but completely deployable across entire organizations. We have customers that use Party Matrix across the globe to manage all their capability, their um, departments, all their needs, all their projects, and then be able to have it shared with appropriate people. So you have complete permission permission control. So it's really nice that you're able to um, access Party Matrix from anywhere, mobile, desktop, inside Teams, inside Outlook, of course, uh, but at the same time, being able to have permissions and control and share um, level specific, a uh, project level specific information across the organization. 
And then the use cases are extremely broad. Uh, we have customers using it in finance, in um, uh, oil and gas and energy, in uh, government, as well as for managing time, extremely high level executive projects, all the way down to personal projects. These are some of the high level capabilities, easy delegation during meetings. Uh, one thing that comes up over and over again is that you know when you use something like Microsoft Teams for your meetings, and then you talk about all these different things that you are supposed to do, you walk away from the meetings and then, you know, two weeks later, you'll come back and people will start saying, oh, wait a minute, you know, I didn't have that written down or I didn't get that done. So Party Matrix allow you to do easy delegation during meetings. Uh, while you're chatting with your manager, you can actually just create tasks directly from Teams without switching any application whatsoever. So, of course, we have everything that goes from Gantt chart to calendars. We have deep integrations with Teams and Outlook. And on the Outlook side, it's really about managing emails and being able to go and take these emails that are coming from external data sources and tying that together with all the work that you have to do today. The other component about Party Matrix is the people-centric collaboration. Um, there are so many applications out there that focus on projects and so forth, but very few actually flip it and say, wait a minute, what are the things that I have to do across all my projects? And Party Matrix allow you to do that, but also within the context of the people involved and we understand that context from your Microsoft Teams chat or from the channel that you're in. Of course, all your data is synchronized across devices, um, be able to use our natural language to schedule dates and reminders. And then not only that, once you have all this information in Purdue Matrix, Purdue Matrix is able to provide you workload reports. So then you can see, oh, hey, what, what are my calendars like? Um, what's my schedule like over the next three months, six months? And if I need to assign somebody something, are, are they the right person? Are they overloaded with work? And then lastly, customizable, reusable templates. Um, one of the coolest thing about this is once you have, once you create something per matrix, and if you have to use it over and over again, there should be no reason for you to have that duplicate work. So Purdue Matrix eliminates so many of that duplicate work and allow you allow you to actually use our template system uh, to uh, really make your your project a lot more effective and a lot more efficient and be able to share that across your entire team. Uh, so if you want to learn more about Party Matrix, our website is affluence.com slash Office 365. And then in this deck, we have the link to our Teams app, out, um, App Source app, Outlook app. And if you go into um, Microsoft Teams and you go to the App Store, when you search for Party Matrix, you'll see several solutions, our standard solutions, our HIPAA solutions, as well as our government uh, GovCloud solution. So I want to bring that up. And now what I'd like to do is actually jump to the demo. All right. So um, I have my Microsoft Teams open here, and I just have our standard application available here. As you can see, I have our government cloud down here. Um, so when you have Purdue Matrix here, I highly recommend that you right click and pin the application. That just allows you to have um, Purdue Matrix open at your fingertips. Then what happens is you'll see this notification letting you know that, hey, there's something that I need to be, that you you should be aware of so in order for you to address, right? So maybe a notifications, um, on something that requires your attention. So when you start Party Matrix, we have this really uh, cool view called the, the home view, and the home views gives you alerts. These are the things that require your attention. You can click through each of these and see uh, what are the, the changes that impact you. Party Matrix goes and only tell you alerts of tasks that are relevant to you, right? Things that you follow or things that you own or if someone delegates uh, uh, specific uh, tasks or items to you. And then you're able to go and actually drill down and look at your agenda, your workload. Um, but what I'd like to do is actually go ahead and jump to a sp uh, specific project. So of course you can create a project really easily, but I'm just I'm just going to jump to our 30, 60, 90 day plan template for managers. So this is, as I mentioned, a, a way for you to, when you have a new manager that comes on online, um, what they can do is they can go here, create a new project from Purdue Matrix, choose this template, and then it actually creates all these tasks for you automatically. And you can go through each of these. You can mark them as done. You can uh, look at them, but you can imagine actually a, a, we actually talked a lot of, about different use cases, but one use case might be an employee onboarding process. So what's nice about this is you have a new employee, maybe you have 16 things for them to do, and those 16 things have different due dates, maybe due today, due tomorrow, due in one week, due in three months. And the way Party Matrix works is it inherits all of those due dates. So when you launch, uh, when you launch a new template, it automatically takes all those due dates, moves it forward to the start date for the employee, and allows you to actually 
uh, let them see what are the things that are important, what are the things that are critical for them to get done. So this is a very straightforward project management application from that perspective. Uh, the only difference is that you have these templates that are very intelligent, allowing you to save time. And then inside Purdue Matrix, as you can see, it's actually four quadrants, right? Um, so everything in Purdue Matrix is centered around that four quadrant. The idea is that if you were looking at this from a critical um, and urgent uh, perspective, what are the things that you got to do today? What are the things that you should do next? What are the things you should plan for? And then what are the things you should postpone? So when you launch a Purdue Matrix project, you get to choose from many, many different template options. When you're inside Party Matrix, you also have many different views. So we actually have the list view. You can actually go and see all the tasks that you have, and then you can see what are the things that are overdue. Uh, and then you can go to the calendar view. You can go to the Gantt chart view. Uh, and the Gantt chart view is actually very uh, easy to use. What it does is it just takes the information that you have inside the your matrix and automatically create the Gantt chart for you, from which you can use and put into your presentation. Uh, so extremely lightweight and try to take the information that you have and just put it from a different perspective. So let me go back to here. And so let me show you how easy it is to add a task. Um, so for example, um, you know, maybe I'll say call Bill. Uh, but then what happens is I want to say call Bill, but I'm going to want to set myself a reminder in two days. So I can go ahead and create a task just like that. And what's really cool is that Party Matrix automatically understands that, hey, call Bill is a phone call and so it changes the icon to a phone call and then in two days I automatically just set a due date for me in two days and that's one of the things that we do in order to save you time and, and effort so you don't have to go create a task and then set those due dates and, and all that um, and then let's just say when I'm working with the task I want to actually, actually remind myself so um, about this task and so remind me in five hours so by just typing all these natural uh, language um, commands into party matrix we actually are able to go and create that reminders. Um, and so in a couple of hours, it'll send me reminders inside Teams to say, hey, by the way, check out this task that you have to do. But what's really neat is that I actually can assign this to other people as well. So let's say if I want to assign to Pablo, um, I can just do this here. And then what it's, this does is it assigns to Pablo. And the reason why we use the chat in this particular case is that you have a full record of all the history of all the changes that's happening across this particular task. Uh, so for our customers, we have in so many cases where they need a full audit trail of all the things that they're supposed to do. Um, so, for example, let's just say if you're in a highly compliant uh, a, a situation where you have to prove to a, a government entity or a regulatory entity that these things are done at a certain time by these people, these are the due dates, this is the record, Party Matrix automatically keep that record for you at a task level, at a project level, at a global level. Um, and then not only that, you can go and you can do version control and revert back to different, different editions of those applications. But what's really neat here is if you assign a task to me and then suddenly, you know, I change the due date, well, that record is kept. So that allows you to ensure that the, these tasks are actually done on schedule and on time. So all of that is, is kept in record. And then within the notes, within the item itself, I want to just walk quick, quickly through the different options in here. You can see that we have the ability to star application, uh, I'm sorry, to star the item uh, to make sure that they're high priority and that you'll get reports on it. You can change the icon. You can click on here to change the owner uh, and change the progress, effort, reminder, due date, and then tags, tag mean, Tagging an item means it allows you to go ahead and uh, give it additional characteristics that describes it, right? So for example, let's say again, HR task or operation task. And so then later on, you can actually run reports on that and say, hey, show me all the tasks that I have that's tagged in a certain way. Or, you know, what are my workload distribution for those tags? And then down here, you actually have chats, notes, and resources. Um, so chat is that record of conversation that you have. Now, imagine if Pablo was in here, he can actually respond to this, or he can make changes, and then I can actually see the record, and I can actually have a conversation with him, but now within the context of this task. So what's nice about this is that if you're chatting with somebody, you know, in, again, maybe inside Teams or in emails or whatever, um, oh, so like, look at that. Pablo saw the task, and then actually, uh, went and went and go ahead and made a comment. And now I can see that and I can chat with Pablo. Thanks, Pablo. So if I go to the notes section, I'm actually able to add um, subtask here. So if you see here, so for example, subtask one, um, 
subtask two, I can go ahead and make these subtask. And and as you can see, when I do make these changes here, um, I actually have a record of those subtasks as well. And then as I mark these subtasks as done, my progress uh, should update. And so because I have two subtasks, it's 50% done. And so again, it allows me to easily track this. And so if Pablo was part of this conversation, it's an important priorities, prioritized task, then he can go and see the record of all the changes. One of the things that you know I want to bring up why Party Matrix is different from so many other applications is our emphasis on priorities. The idea is that you know if you have 100 things to do, you can start at the top and you can start at the bottom, right? And so when you add more things, you add the top or you add the bottom. But if you have to go and put into a matrix and say, these are the things that are really critical, these are the things that you have to do now, then it forces you to make that choice, make that prioritization decision today, right now. And that's the hardest part, but that's the thing that's most powerful about party matrix. So within these, um, within a project, you have full permission control with respect to who gets to see the task inside the project. And sometimes you can even delegate tasks to people outside the project, in which case they wouldn't be able to see everything. Uh, that's everything else. And the reason we have something like that is that it allows you to fine tune um, who gets to see what and then where it shows up within their party matrix. So I want to step back for one second and describe why party matrix is so valuable for organizations. Um, so as you can imagine, if you were to stop right now and then took out a piece of paper and start writing down your priorities and then put it into a two by two matrix and say these are the things that are um, really important for me to do and these are the things that are less important now you have that but imagine now you carry that around the office because everyone else at the office has done the exact same thing and you're comparing notes with them What's really nice is that you, when you talk to your manager, you can see, wait a minute, you know, actually my priorities are aligned here, but not aligned in other places. And that allows you to actually bring up the most fruitful discussion around what's truly important um, around the work that you're doing today. So that's where Party Matrix shines. So because we focus so much on prioritization and because we make you do the hard choices of prioritizing, Party Matrix allows you to actually be a lot more effective uh, overall. And, and where we create value is not in making sure that you're aligned, because if you're always aligned with your team, then there's actually a party matrix is not that important, uh, is not that useful. But where we create value is finding and surfacing those misalignments where the priorities are different. So imagine if Pablo was looking at this particular matrix and say, wait a minute, I don't feel like this particular task is uh is up here, right? So maybe occupation shouldn't be up here, it should be down here. Then you can just drag and drop and now all of us are um, see the exact same thing within the matrix and be able to really easily visualize those priorities. So that's at the matrix level. Um, and I want to also mention that all of this is customizable. So as you can see, you know, I have these these different quadrant names. These, you know, I can change that to a different uh, quadrant name very easily. And then once I'm I've done that, you can see how the the quadrant name here is updated. I can go ahead and and save this as a um, save this as a template, et cetera. Or again, when I share this with other people, then they can see that, okay, you know, these quadrants are actually uh, aligned with our own terminology. So that's how a, creating a project and then creating tasks works at a high level. Um, there's a lot more information that you can add to each task. So going back to here, there's the resource section, which means you can add files, you can add documents. Um, one cool thing is that party matrix on the web app, for example, if you use it on your phone, you're able to attach pictures. And so a use case there is actually people in the field, right? When they're in the field and you want them to do something, you have that proof of work. And so perhaps you, you know, as an example, let's just say if uh, you have to go to a work site and take a, a screenshot or take a picture of something that happened at the work site, that information can be uploaded as a file, as a document directly inside Party Matrix, and everyone has that visibility. And then not only that, you can attach links. So instead of just linking to a um, file, you can actually link to websites. Um, you can also link to your uh, SharePoint, uh, but then you can also link to other Party Matrix tasks and be able to jump back and forth between task and project. So every task and every project inside Party Matrix has a specific URL. And so you're able to actually tie all of these things together in one single place. So that's in the resources section. And so the resources allow you to actually uh, attach other things as well, such as emails, allowing you to actually um, ensure that that if you have an external email that you would, uh, attach it to the appropriate task. 
So now I would like to jump outside of Party Matrix inside Teams and actually show you what it's like um, as add-ons inside the Teams ecosystem. So for example, when you open a chat with somebody, one of the things you can do with Party Matrix is add the one-on-one -on -one tab. So let me show you here to go ahead and go to Party Matrix, add the one-on-one -on -one view. What's really neat about this is that I can choose um, I can choose a person here. So for example, I chose Pablo um, and I can see actually all the tasks I have in common with Pablo um, directly from this view across all my projects. So that actually is extremely powerful because when I'm chatting with Pablo, I can actually just pull up information as needed. Um, and so I don't have to go to party matrix because I can just switch over the, to this particular tab and see that. And then I can create that share task with Pablo. Let's talk about uh, year end review um, due next week, right? I can create a task directly from here and I don't have to go to any particular projects. I don't have to jump to party matrix. I'm doing directly from the one, the, the chat here. And it's a people centric view uh, because I don't have to jump between different projects and I can actually make all those changes in this single place. Uh, and then not only that, I can actually add additional tabs. So for example, I had that project earlier. Um, I can actually just jump to that particular project directly within this, uh, this view as a tab. One cool thing I want to bring up is let's just say if I'm chatting with Pablo and then, you know, Pablo asked me to do something, I can actually take that chat and go to and create a party matrix action item directly. So what's neat is that I, again, don't have to open party matrix. Um, in fact, you just click on here and create the item and set due dates, put in the right projects and so forth and set priorities um, directly from the chat that you have with your manager or with your direct reports. And then if you were to use the Teams demo, uh, I'm sorry, the Teams channel here, uh, one of the things you can do is you can actually add a project again from Party Matrix, and then you can actually do a full project view. You can choose a project that you have right now or create a new project. You can also add a read-only version of this. Um, and what's really neat is that it automatically look at the people inside this tab and invite them. So the permissions is managed directly from here, allowing you to actually share critical projects, right, related to specific initiatives. So let's just say you have a Teams chat, a Teams channel for a particular initiative, Party Matrix allows you to have that single place to, to share that without, again, having to jump Party Matrix. And then I know we're running out on time of time. So what one thing I would like to show you is that how Party Matrix and Outlook also works. So I'm going to pull down my Outlook here. Again, this is something that you can install from your tenant. You can go and search for Party Matrix for Outlook for uh, the standard app or the HIPAA app or the government app. Um, and then when you have a particular email and what you can do is you can open Party Matrix. And what's really cool is that I can take I can click on capture email, which means I can take an email and convert into a task or I can attach this email to an existing task, or I can actually just go ahead and uh, look at the, if you were to click on the Office 365 side, what it does is actually shows you other emails you have from this particular sender, all directly inside the um, Outlook application. So again, what happens here is that we understand that you're getting tasks and delegations from so many different uh, sources and so forth. Party Matrix allows you to have all of that come together into one place, and then that single place is all inside Teams, allowing you to access everything that you need. So now going back to here, if I had created that um, task from email, I can easily uh, pull that up. But also, if you went to here, we have connectors. Uh, we have the chat bot that you can respond to. Um, so. That's where I'll stop. There's a lot more for you to see with respect to Party Matrix, a lot of capabilities. Uh, if there's any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Excellent. Thank you so much, Kai. You know, the in, the integration is is excellent. The feature set is robust, so I really appreciate it. A uh, couple questions. Uh, I think you demoed this pretty well, uh, the integration with Outlook. I think you covered that one. But the second question was uh, integration with Dynamics. So we don't have integrations with Dynamics, but we do have integrations with Power App Connector. So the integrations that we have right now today are um, in um, a Graph, um, in Teams, Outlook, and then um, on the Power App side with the connectors. So allowing you to you know, do whatever automations that you have there and then pushing that over into Party Matrix. Several customers who uh, requested something similar, and in the end, they found that it's, it's easier for them to export our data using our API and ingest it in the specific format that they want. 
Uh, but if anybody has specific uh, requests about uh, integration with Dynamics, I'd love to learn more about it. So please shoot so, me a message. Pablo, since you just joined, would you want to cover off uh, Dave's question regarding uh, the message extension, uh, which you yes. answered in chat? Exactly. So uh, I demonstrated the um, capturing of uh, messages from Teams into priority metrics uh, tasks. Um, the question was whether the task uh, contains a, mess a link to the original message, and the answer is yes. All right, thank you. I know we're almost at time. Does, we did have a generic question about uh, pricing. Uh, give us a sense. Yeah, absolutely. So actually for uh, Office 365 Microsoft Teams users, we have a discounted tier for our solution, which is uh, $9 per user per month. Um, and we do have a minimum on there, and we actually are totally transactable, completely transactable inside the Teams uh, eco, the Teams App Store. Uh, but not only that, if you are looking at an enterprise solution, we actually have um, flat rate for organizations of different sizes. And then we are also working with some uh, enterprise customers just for a Microsoft Teams side to actually have a long, prolonged trial of Purdue Matrix and then being able to let them experience Purdue Matrix across the organization and then only pay for the users who are actually using the software. So $9 per user per month is the standard pricing. And then as you get to scale, uh, it actually gets much cheaper um, based on the organization side. Size. That's great. And um, in terms of data residency, uh, where's the data stored? So we have multiple solutions, as I mentioned. So um, for our and so all our data is in the US. Our definitely our GovCloud solution is on Azure GovCloud only, and that can only again be accessed by US citizen, et cetera, um, to fully fully fulfill that part. Our HIPAA solution is also on Azure, and then we also have a um, private manage, manage or unmanaged private deployment of our solution on Azure. And in that particular case, the customer can choose the geography. So, you know, if you're in Europe, you can choose in Europe or Australia, et cetera. And then with that, um, the customer can go and set all sorts of permissions there. All the solutions comes native with our Teams, Outlook, um, Power Apps, Web App Connector. So once you deploy the solution, you have a specific URL and you go to there and you can deploy our team solution very, very quickly. Excellent. So great support for sovereign clouds. So that's uh, that's great to hear. Hi. Uh, thank you so much. I really enjoyed uh, learning more uh, about um, Party Matrix and I'm really impressed. So thank you very much. I appreciate uh, everyone joining as well. And we look forward to um, you know great collaboration together with Affluence and our mutual customers. Thank you so much. And hi at Affluence is my email. Feel free to reach out to me about any questions. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks all.